everybody, it's Alex Zach with TPAC TV, and today we are speaking with Michelle Aravena from A Bronx Tale, which will be here February 12th to the 17th. Hey, Michelle, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you. Excited doing... to come to Nashville. Yes, we're excited to have you. So when we do these on the road interviews, we always ask, where are you currently? Tampa. Tampa. <laughs> and I had to think about that for a second. We're in Tampa. We're, we're, this is our second week in Florida. We were just in Fort Myers. Uh, we're in Tampa. We go to Greenville next week, and then we hit Nashville. So you're working your way back up north. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. So when we're talking about a Bronx Hill, which we are so excited to have here in Nashville, everybody says it's West Side Story meets Jersey Boys. Can you tell us what that means a little bit? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, we love Jersey Boys for its music, right? And I think when you, uh, I know when you come to see a Bronx Tale, you're going to hear a very similar sound. We definitely have that doo-wop kind of feel going on. Plus, we have a bunch of, like, really uh, great Italian characters running around the stage, which is very similar to Jersey Boys. <laughs> and uh, West Side Story, I think, you know, uh, just like our show, um, we're dealing with two sides of the neighborhood and uh, a bit of forbidden love going on. So... Um, it's always such a compliment to hear our show compared to those two shows. I've done those two shows, and they're brilliant shows. And I'm really proud of what we did with Bronx Tale. That's awesome. So you were in the Broadway company um, as the mm -hmm. understudy for the role that you're currently mm -hmm. in. And I know there's, I think, 11 people from the Broadway cast that are currently on tour with you guys. I know, it's amazing. That's yeah. incredible. And maybe a lot of people don't know that A Bronx Tale is based off of Chaz Palminteri's real life story of growing up in the Bronx. So mm -hmm. what was that process like of Number one, portraying his mother and having him there. I mean, was he able to give you advice for how to... Oh, yeah. Chaz was very, very much involved throughout the whole process. And I've been a fan of the movie since I was a kid, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, and, you know, there's always a certain kind of pressure that comes along with playing a real person, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, there's a certain kind of pride that comes with that as well, you right. know. And uh, Chaz explained his mother, like like many Italian mothers or mothers in general, she was a strong woman with a huge heart and she, she kept that family together. I like to say that she's kind of like the glue that keeps everything, you know, uh, uh, um, happy and healthy in the household. Yeah, so what was it, what was the biggest transition that you felt going from playing it on Broadway to now taking this character on the road? Well, uh, you know, I've done this a couple times in my career where I've understudied the role in New York and then was able to take it on the road uh, as my own. And I think, you know, understudying is a very, very difficult job. Uh, you know, your job is to fill the shoes of the person who created the role, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, what comes with that is a lot of boundaries. And when you get to take ownership of the role, you get to make it yours. And uh, it's been a, a lovely process. I'm working with Richard Blake, who we work together as kids, if you can believe that. What? So um, <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? Uh, so uh, we're having a great time and we're finding our chemistry and it's just been really, really fun. That's incredible. I'm I know, so I love the business for that. I love <laughs> yeah. it. I'm excited to see your guys' chemistry on stage when we get mm -hmm. to Nashville at this month. And also, you know, as we talked about, great cast. A lot of you were in the Broadway production. But there is an all-star creative team besides Chaz Palminteri behind oh, this me. product. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the other people involved? Yeah. You're going to think I'm lying when I tell you this lineup, but I'm not. <laughs> um, it's kind of like one of those things you have to pinch yourself a little bit. So, yeah, Chaz Palminteri, who wrote uh, uh, the show, he, it started with the one-man show. And mm -hmm. this is a, a, a story based on his, his life. And then the one-man show became a movie that he starred in next to Robert De Niro, who mm -hmm. played the dad in the movie and also directed the movie. And so when they discussed, uh, when they were in discussions about making it a musical, they uh, wanted to bring Robert De Niro along as a director. But because it's a musical and he doesn't have much experience in that department, mm -hmm. we brought in, you know, Broadway's Jerry Zachs, who's one of our most successful directors on Broadway. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and so they co-directed that together, which was uh, something that I've never had to do before in a show. And uh, was kind of a cool thing to watch them collaborating. Um, and then we have Sergio Trujillo, you know, the choreographer for, 
I mean, the list goes on and on, but Memphis, On Your Feet, uh, Jersey Boys. Uh, we had Alan Macon and Glenn Slater do the music. And again, uh, you know, Little Mermaid, Little Shop of Horrors, right. uh, Sister Act. Uh, so, yeah, this was a team that you did not want to pass up. You know, I think when you when you got the call that, you know, they wanted you to do Bronx Tale, it was a yes right away. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for joining us from Tampa. And we can't wait to see you. A Bronx Tale will be here February 12th through the 17th. And tickets are available now at tpac.org. Come Bye. see us. You'll love it. Bye. <laughs>